Hey there, welcome to video six of eight. And today we're going to be talking about understanding value and talking about price. So for me, I was not so good at this kicking off. I, I started my coaching business thinking that I was a great coach if I could charge a lot of money. And so I was consistently putting out my prices higher and higher because I, if people say yes to my high prices, and then I'll be a great coach. And the problem was nobody was saying yes to my high prices. And so I was stuck in this weird dilemma, like, well, I can't lower my price. If I lower my price, that means I'm not a great coach. So I'm just going to stick it out at my high prices. Turns out terrible business idea. <laughs> And so I, I want to share with you the two things, the, the way it looks to me that's been really helpful. Number one is similar in video five, where we talked about being in a reflective state of mind and simply sharing what occurs to you about what would really change this person's life is I'll reflect on how much money I want to charge. And I'll go for the number that I have the least amount of thinking about. And that's helped me when I was starting out because it, it allowed me to just charge money that I was comfortable with charging. And what that allowed me to do is get comfortable charging money, period. Because I would just say this number and like it didn't matter if they said yes or no because this is the amount of money I felt most comfortable with doing. And I did that for many years and it was really helpful with filling my practice because I was charging money I felt good for. And then later in my coaching career, I started to learn about the value. I want to change the word. I started to see the value of the impact my coaching was having on their personal lives. I saw how my clients would make more money. They would have happier relationships. Their businesses would grow. They, If they were athletes, their world rankings would grow. They would win higher level medals than before. And at some point it occurred to me that those impacts had a money value at the end of the day. And I thought, oh, if, if, if that's the impact that's being made, I wonder if I could charge part of that impact or a percentage of that value. And I started to play with it. And as I started to play with it, I got more comfortable charging more money than I would usually do. And, and a funny thing happened, whereas I started to do that, I started to get comfortable charging more money. And, and that really changed the game for me. And I'd love for you to experiment with that. And lastly, the, the last thing that probably impacted me was as my practice grew and my other businesses grew, I just had less available time. I had less time and energy to give to myself. And so uh, what was it called? Supply and demand, right? There's less supply of Nikon's time and energy. And if there's less supply of Nikon's time and energy, the value of that supply goes way up. And because I just couldn't afford to work with people for less than the amount I wanted to charge because I'd rather do something else with that time. I'd rather give it to myself. So those are really the three things that helped me is number one, charging money I was comfortable with. Number two, noticing the money value that my impact was having on my clients and charging a percentage of that. And number three, noticing my own time and energy and how much of supply I had of that and the less supply of my time and energy I had the higher the price went. And when I had more time and energy, the, the price came down a little bit. So that's what's been really helpful to me. So I'm gonna hand this over to Wynn and we'll see what he has to say about it. I've not heard you say that before. I really loved it. Really cool, Nico. So I'm gonna talk about value to begin with. And this is just, again, I, I'm gonna, Maybe take a look at the word for a second. So here's what I think. Given what I understand about what's called the three principles, which is what my work is all about, it's priceless. I could, and I mean what I'm going to say next, okay? This is not hyperbolic. This is not just BS, right? This is true. If someone offered me the jackpot lottery win in euro millions, like say a hundred million pounds, which is 110 million euros, 140 million US dollars. And here's that amount of money, but 
we take away what you understand now about the nature of mind, thought, consciousness, and your spiritual given well-being. There's no way I'd say yes to the money. No way. But the difference this understanding has made to my life, it's turned my life around. It's made me appreciate life and grateful for having been born. Another way of saying it would be priceless. That word I said earlier on, and I am not kidding. Now, I'm not saying that needs to be the same for everyone, but given that's my value of what I've put on what I've learned, I could charge someone $100 million and have no thinking on it. If they had it, I think that's a bargain. And I'm firm on that. Or another way of saying it, any amount that they actually pay to understand the little that I do about life is the best deal in town. Not only the best deal in town, it can absolutely turn someone's life around into the biggest blessing that they've ever had. And I see it too many times in my clients' lives for me to doubt that, that I'm not an anomaly. I'm an example of what's possible for everyone. That to me is just like taking all my thinking away from whatever the number is on the invoice. That's another way of of having a different version of the three things, Nikon, that you just said. And to me, this is just personal. I've got a, a regular rate. I know what that is today. Do I charge that? Sometimes. Do I charge more than that? Sometimes. Do I charge less than that? Often. I don't care. Because I'll figure it out. I'll work with somebody, but this is just me, okay? And I'm not saying this is how to do it. If someone is genuinely into it and they love what's on offer and they're all in, I want to find a way. And I don't want the number to be the thing that comes in its way. So we get to figure that out and we get to work on a price and a, and a package that works for both of us. Because I know I want this for them, my wish to actually occur. So that's what comes to mind when I talk about value and pricing. And that's why for me, I don't have a lot of thinking about it. Because I know it's a freaking bargain regardless of how much they pay. Oh, the other thing I want to say, actually, I also know it's not on me. It's not on me to provide the value. It's their insights. And you might then think, well, wait a minute. Well, if it's them that, that has the insight, how dare you pay? How dare you charge anything? Yeah, but without me, they wouldn't. Without me being there in that space with them that can you know, give a gentle nudge of how human beings really work that enables them to have life-changing insights, yeah, they might get it from a book. Chances, it's not the same. I know the value that having time with, in the space with someone who is really clean and clear on how human beings work, I know the impact that has firsthand. So, I don't have me on my mind. And it becomes a very easy, clean, and clear conversation.